Hey guys, it's KC Outcast here. Um, I wanted to make this video on a project I'm doing. Um, it's a the costume is for a friend of mine's birthday party. She is turning 16 years old, so and it's a costume party. So I've been thinking, what should I dress up as? After thinking for a while, or maybe not that much. I decided to dress up as Gansey Makara from Homestuck. I am not yet, I'm still reading the comic right now. I'm only in my act three. But I haven't been introduced to the trolls yet in the comic, so though I have I have I have knowledge about like the trolls, who they are, what they do, um, you know, what they like or whatever. I know their whole quadrant thing, which is a miracle for some people to like their the fans to think this person hasn't even like known the trolls yet. Yet they know their quadrants and who's with who's 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 with who, who isn't with who, who was with who. So I don't know. So I am dressing up as Gams Makara. He is a Capricorn. He He's high all the time. He likes Fago. He likes horns. Um, he has clown makeup on. It's he's a mess. Okay, he's a mess like me. So, so I might as well dress up as him because I got because I can't think of anything else and whatever. Um, I've been setting up this project for a couple weeks now. I think yeah, a couple weeks because I'm thinking oh I had to buy this and I had to buy this and. I see, like, oh, where should I buy this? And, um, people, help me out. I don't know what to buy. I don't know how to make this. Help me out. So, most of the stuff, well, actually, I have some stuff here right now. But, like, my shoes and my pants are at my house right now. Or at my other house. Um, I'm currently staying at Dad's right now. But I do have some other stuff with me, so. Um... I went to the thrift store like a week or so and bought some shoes, like plain old white canvas shoes. I think they used to be for like, um, I think probably a nurse um, bought them or like somebody at a at a workplace where you have to stand a lot because they have cushion on them, like in the bottom. So, but they're white, they're canvas, might as well paint them over and put purple. I yet still have to make another coat because it's not like purple purple you know if anyone has like seen Gamzee's like shirt symbol and see how purple that is it's like um Aridin's purple not Gamzee purple if you get what I'm trying to say so I might paint them again or whatever and I was trying to find some black pants you know and draw like polka dots on them white polka dots but I can't find anything else so I asked my friend like hey like, what should I buy? I can't find any black pants. Help me out. She said, well, just get some plain old pajama pants. When I cosplayed as him, I just used my um, panda pajama pants, so they worked out fine. So I saw these plaid um, plaid pajama pants. So I'm like, huh, might as well use these. So I couldn't find anything else resembling to the polka dots. So, hey, they're black, okay? I can't. So I bought those. Excuse me. And, um, I was planning to make my Gamsey shirt, so I asked my sister, like, hey, how do you make shirts? She was like, well, are you making this for one time, or are you going to wear it more often? So I'm like, huh, I might wear it more often, who knows. She said, well, you might as well get it on, online, like, order it, instead of making yourself a must, you want to have the experience. Well, I kind of do want to have the experience, like, kind of make them so it would be easier for me. But I can't draw the Capricorn. Have you seen the sign? Like, seriously. Um, so I ordered online. But they were currently, well, right now, they're, they're going to a new warehouse. So it takes them, like, oh, sorry, we're going to be a week or two late. Thanks for your inconvenience. Thanks for your convenience. Blah, 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 blah. But I ordered it like two weeks ago, and I just got it yesterday. Um, it comes in like in a, you know, packaging bag, you know, it's all wrapped up nice. I just opened it today, 
Um, it was full, nicely folded. It's a nice heavy cotton shirt. It's a, uh, I'm five foot, and this is a men's medium. It fits very nice for me. It reaches about half to my thigh, or like a little ways down to my hips, but it actually fits pretty nice. Um, there you go. Here's the shirt. Let's see. If I would have made this, I could never like do the squiggle because I am not good at designs or having like um keeping it in the middle. Okay, so I couldn't even do it in my lesson. Luckily, I ordered it. It's nice. It's soft. It's it's good. It was like twenty bucks. I think I have it right here. Um. So we said. Oh, I think it was like 20 bucks or something, plus shipping, so not so bad. I think it would have been more to make it your own, maybe. I don't know. I also ordered some gray paint. I looked everywhere, like, hey, what do you use for your paint? Like, what do you use for the skin? What's good? What's not good? People, I've been looking over and saying, hey, um, check out Ben Nye. Ben Nye is good. Ben Nye is really good. Blah, blah, blah. So, I checked it out, and I bought some Ben Nye Magic Color Liquid Paint. Something like this. And it's Gray ML25. Once you first open it, actually, no, once you first get the package, it is unbelievable. Alright, see this tiny one ounce fluid out fluid ounce bottle? It came in this. Yes, a box. And it's filled with peanuts. Like this whole thing? Filled with peanuts. And in here was this in the bag, tiny bag, tied up. This. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever, I got it. So when you when you first like unwrap it in the bag, so you open it up. Doesn't have any plastic casing or whatever. Once you open it up, you meet with this nice gray gray paint, and there's a little brush right there. So I also tested it out. Um, it dries really fast. Like it takes like a minute or so to completely dry, which is amazing. I I rubbed it on my other skin. It didn't even come off. I don't know. And when you wash it off, I just use warm soap and water. You can also buy, like, this paint remover or whatever online. But I didn't want to waste the extra money, so just use soap and water. Much easier. So, yeah. Uh, it said it does up to 80 to 120 face applications. But my dad was wondering, like, hey, you bought only one ounce, and it's going to do your arms, neck, and, yeah, your arms and neck, and part of your face. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it'll be enough. I don't know if I'd be careful with it. But if I run out, I'll just buy some of this at the Party City and just, like, mix up black and white. Um, one more thing. I've also made my horns. Okay. <sighs> So I bought some clay, because I first say, oh, use clay, that's how I make my horns. Use clay, use clay. Okay, shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, I have experience with clay. It was pretty easy, you know? I mean, if there was cracks, put some water on it. Um, easy to shape, easy to dry. So I bought some air dry clay. Never again. <laughs> I had to make like five horns. No, okay, I'm exaggerating, three or four. And they all broke on me. I then spackled them. I sandpapered them. I made sure there was no cracks. But it just, like, felt, like, broke in half. First of all, the tip. So I'm like, oh, you know, get some crazy glue. So I crazy glued it. I spackled them again. Broke off. Crazy, or Gorilla Glue. Broke off again. Even if I had water. Because you have to add water to activate the foam for the glue. Mm -mm. did not work. So I'm like, all right, ditch the clay. I'm going to figure something else. So I saw this YouTube video. Um, the, the person used felt 
and they stitched it and they stuffed it and they painted over it. It was nice. Okay. So I'm like, all right, might as well try it. I have that, um, also a friend of mine suggested like paper mache, but I don't, I don't want to deal with like paper and wire and mixing flour and water and just making a mess and being all crinkly and you can see the wire and you can see the gaps. And I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> So I made my horns with felt. I stitched them up hand I hand stitched them. Here's what they look like. I just did a second coat on the paint. See I'm sorry. I am not good with the camera, so red, orange, yellow. Um uh the tips on these are not like fully there, are not fully stuffed as you can see. But eh, whatever, it's fine. I kind of messed up on the stitch right here and on the bottom part, but hey, they're fine. They're my first ones. I'm, I'm happy. I at the bottom, I I stuffed them. I stuffed them with the the end of a paintbrush and and the front of the paintbrush. It kind of messed up on the um the bristles or whatever on my paintbrush, but I'm not worried. So yeah, I stuffed them up, and then I cut out like a little piece of the, I actually cut out the shape of the bottom, and I just stitched them up whatever um, thread I had left in there. So yeah, I'm, I was trying to glue them down on the headband like this, and I did Gorilla Glue on these guys, and it did not work out. They would not stick on, and they were flopping too. And I had to, because I already glued them on, I already glued one on this, but it was like, pretend I had the headband on, the pet, the horn was like right here. And I wanted to be like down here. So I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta take them off. I didn't want to like try and glue them on again, so I'm like, I'll buy some, I'll buy a hot glue gun and just like, it, it's quicker, it's more easier than trying to hold down some Gorilla Goo and, like, have it come off. I am also worried of, like, the floppiness at the bottom, because I tried to stuff them, but I didn't have that much room, and I didn't want to undo the stitch as I was trying to stuff it. So I'm like, uh, forget this, I'm going to stitch it up. But now, I can actually see it's, like, wobbling. I might, like, um... I might just like undo this stitch or whatever again. Um, like put a piece of cardboard on it. I don't know. Or something. Something to keep it stiff and not like wobbling. But I don't think it should be too bad, okay? I don't know. If unless, unless I don't headbang or whatever, but whatever. So, um, it looks. <laughs> there. There you go. There. Alright, it's not... Alright, they're not on the street. Okay, I can't do this. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll glue them on sometime. And I also don't have the wig with me because I just ordered it today. Um, it's a nice black... It's already, like, has, like, the, like, the waves and the hair sticking up. I might also try to style it a little bit more. So it's more, like... Gamsy gamsy, you know? Um, it's, they said it would take like a week or so, a week or two to send them in, but I don't know. And the website call, is called AliExpress. It's some like Chinese, Chinese I think or something like that. I don't know, because it says China Mail and like free shipping to the US for, from China Mail or something like that, so. I don't know, it's pretty nice. Um, I'll see if I can put all the links down in the description if you guys need a, like, a wig or, like, paint or the shirt or whatever. Um, I guess you guys already know, like, a few home stuckers out there already know, like, oh, yeah, I bought it from this website. Oh, I already got this. Like, I already got, like, 10 of these and, like, 20 of these and whatever. But if you guys need a, um, figure out for your cosplay or whatever, I'll put them down. Yes, it's my first, like, cosplay project costume thing I made. 
I'm actually pretty happy, okay? It's my first time actually making a costume, not buying it. And I'm happy, okay? I'm just happy. Um, yeah. So that's it. If you like it, um, like it and favorite, show it to all your homestuck friends or your troll friends. And if you want to see more crazy, random vlogs or whatever, subscribe to the, push the subscribe button. And, I don't know. At, uh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I don't even want to try doing an uh, outro. I'm Casey Outcast. I'm done. Bye. Bye.